I'm always nervous when I switch to a new mouse, headset, controller, or anything, especially when it's trying to replace something as iconic as the Xbox controller. Immediately, you'll notice it has a slightly different shape than the standard Xbox controller. It's a little bit wider on top, which is perfect for my grip. While the bottom grips, they are a little bit shorter, but they have an insanely good texture on the back, which I found came very handy in some sweaty games of Fall Guys. One thing that I love about Abidu is they always use very clicky buttons, even down to the D-pad, which is very satisfying. The best way to describe it is if they put the SNES D-pad on an Xbox controller. The clickiness paired with the shape of the D-pad makes it perfect for 2D platforming. And to go along with that, they went the route of a normal Pro Controller having two buttons on the back which are programmable to anything. Now one of my favorite features of this controller is that you can easily program any button using the Apidu Ultimate software. I just use the app on my phone, it pairs instantly as long as the controller is turned on, you can very easily remap any button, set custom keybinds, and even change the joystick dead zones. And you can even set three different profiles for whatever games you play, which is great if you bounce around between shooters, platformers, and different things like that. Thankfully, since this is a wire controller, they provided a very lengthy cord. And there's even a break on the end, so if you ever mess up the USB connector, it can be easily replaced. Lastly, the build quality is just outstanding. It's just one more thing that I really love Abidu for. They make budget controllers, but they make them in an incredibly high quality, sometimes better quality than the actual manufacturer's controller. And for its price of $45, it definitely does not feel like a third-party controller. I, I would seriously have zero worries about this thing ever breaking on you. Now, though I do love how long the cable is, they decided to go with the rubber-coated cable, and it just makes it very stiff. Now, obviously, with a controller, it's not as big of an issue as it would be with the mouse, but when that cable is draped along the back of my desk, you can feel a bit of resistance tugging back. I'd really love to see them reiterate this controller later on and add a braided cable to it, mainly for the weight, but then also they tend to hold up a little bit longer than these rubber coated cables do. Now I know I gave a lot of praise for the buttons and genuinely I do love them. The only issue that I have with them is they went pretty cheap on the legend printing for the buttons. Obviously this doesn't hinder the experience at all, it's just maybe being a little bit nitpicky. It just doesn't look as good as the standard Xbox controller and it's probably gonna chip away over time. Now one issue that I did run into when I first started using the controller, and you probably will too, is if you grip it too tight, you will push the paddles on the back. Now my biggest issue with this controller and with the Apidu Pro Xbox controller is the fact that they're wired only. When I bought this controller, I knew that it was wired only. The only thing that I just find that's really weird is the fact that the controller has Bluetooth. But sadly, that software is only for connecting to the Ultimate app. It could honestly just be a weird licensing issue. I don't know how Xbox works with third-party companies on this type of thing. It's just kind of strange to me. I feel like they just limited some of the functionality that this thing could be capable of. Minor issues aside, I honestly love this controller, and I think the price of $45 is perfect for it. Now, as far as latency goes between using this and using my wireless Xbox controller, I can't tell a difference. I, obviously, there is a difference, I don't think it's noticeable though. But I will say not having to worry about batteries is quite nice. Plus, it's just hard to beat the extra functionality that comes from having those paddles on the back. Now, I know that you could go get the Xbox Elite controller, have multiple paddles on the back, but honestly, I'm pretty cheap. Plus, this is the best D-pad you're gonna find on an Xbox controller, period. As always, I will have links down below to check it out for yourself, and I just wanna give a massive thank you and say that I love each and every one of you for finally getting the channel to 1,000 subscribers. Take care, peace.